Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Project Zomboid. Shall we? Continuing our complete beginner's guide, and while well, we're getting bored standing here, but guess what? We're about to go do some pretty cool stuff. So, I'm going to try to do something that's quite difficult, which is pick up and move a generator. So, in order to do that, I'm going to kind of how much space do I have in this backpack? I'm going to put the jack, the lug wrench, into this backpack, my hiking bag. And then I'm also going to put the hand torch in there. We'll dump the empty tin cans. We don't need that. I'm going to take the machete and put it in there. And the hammer and put it in there. I'm even going to put my water bottle in there, whatever will fit. And then I'm going to take this uh, and I'm going to uh, just drop this bag on the ground. Now, I'm going to try to carry the generator. It is not going to be easy, if even possible, but it's what we're going to do. So I'm going to um, disconnect the generator. Okay, and then I'm going to um, take the generator. And I'm going to try to climb this sheet rope here. All right, we got it. And I'm going to walk over here, and I'm encumbered, but, like, not horribly, so this should be fine, actually. And I'm planning on just putting our generator, I'll reconnect it out here. And this way, the generator can run without causing too many problems. So, what if, for example, what if I put the generator right here? Um, here, generator. Uh... Drop it. Okay. And then can you connect it? Now, hopefully having it right here won't cause it to explode and destroy my house. I don't really know how that works at all. But it's now connected. And can I... Um, it's got no fuel. So we need to get some gas into it. But I've got gas in a can. And kind of what I want to do is I'm going to turn this on. Just to test it out, see how it's all working. Let me get my backpack. Uh, equip on back. Great. And then... Uh, attach to back. Put this in there. Great. And then what else do I have? Where's my hammer? Uh, attach to belt left. And then screwdriver attached to belt right. For now, that's fine. Okay. Now, we really have a lot of stuff because I've got, like, a lug wrench, but that's fine. Now, in here, where did I put my gas can? I think I put a put a full gas can somewhere. Where are you? Gas can, here you go. All right, so we're just going to pick this up. And this is heavy, but not by much. So we're going to fill up the generator and test it. And my plan is, I want to see, you know, how the generator works on our house. And I want to watch 
uh, a DVD that I got about mechanics. Alright, I'm going to head over here, and I'm going to um, add fuel to the gas can. Okay, and then the gas can that I'm holding, it's empty, so I, I don't know if I even topped it off. Um, generator info. Yeah, one gas can is 80% fuel, uh, but now turn it on. All right, it's on. Let's see how the house is doing. You know how the house is doing? Turn it on. Tune in. Not the right time for life and living, but it's on. The house is powered. So this baby works. So we could cook a meal. If we want to get some good food and put it in the fridge to keep it fresh. I also want to go over to uh, the, the DVDs that we've got on the ground. And it is called... Um, let's see. Somebody spotted it. Car Zone. This is the one that I want. And so I'm going to pick up Car Zone, and I'm going to kind of, like, go to the TV, and I'm just going to click on this, and I'm going to right-click that, and we're going to put Car Zone in, and I'm going to say play. Did I not put Car Zone in there? Oh, it's not on. Okay. How about that? Push play. Car zone. Welcome to car zone. Sweet. We're talking engines. All right. So our mechanics is 33.25. And you can see it's filling up dramatically. Look at that. There it goes. So we're chilling. And 70.75. So uh, this pulsed up again. 100. This is phenomenal. And boom. We just got level 2 mechanics from watching this. So thank you so much everyone who watches this and gives me tips because at this point I call it complete beginner's guide but really I'm just trying stuff out and seeing what we can do and learning myself and learning from you and hopefully you can learn through my own shenanigans and mistakes and in this case we've got mechanics to two which means we can attempt to actually fix our taxi's hood. Now this was also pointed out to me if I get this electrical up to level one um then that means that uh, I can hotwire cars at that point. So I wouldn't even have to worry about finding keys and like keys, uh, cars that are in good condition. I could just um, drive them around. So that's tremendous. I do want to find the mechanics magazine though. I still need to get that. So uh, let's go ahead over here. And I've got this gas can that I'm carrying around. Um, let me kind of just like uh, unequip it. And let's go over here. Let's see what we could cook. So I'm going to grab um, a uh, empty cooking pot. And I'm just going to kind of like fill my empty cooking pot. And I'm going to fill my water bottle, just in case. And I'm going to uh, create... Why don't we create a stew from dried kidney beans? And we're cooking it up. And then we've got the kidney bean stew. And then let's kind of like add um, tomato paste as a spice. And then... Add chickpeas. And, um, here, let me actually mouse over this. You can see it's like 
hunger, thirst, boredom, unhappiness, better hot, of course. Add kidney beans. Just, like, put a bunch of stuff on this. And then let's see where it's at now. Now it, like, destroys hunger. And then I'm going to um, go to the stove. And I'm just going to kind of drag this in there. And just plop that in there. And then we're going to turn it on the oven. My cooking is actually, you know, going up somewhat. So I'd like to raise electrics, electronics, but I don't want to do that just by breaking up lamps and, you know, repairing them and fixing them and all that stuff. That's just, like, insane to me. Um, so I'm not sure about that strategy yet. I, I'd like to find a DVD <laughs> at this point because they're so useful. So we're just going to keep scavenging. Um, but another thing I want to do is uh, it's cooking. Go ahead and find that magazine, and I want to repair this taxi and drive around. I need to build another rain barrel as well. Let me see how much rain I ha uh, water I have uh, on my sink. Um, the water is 128 out of 160, so it's actually not bad. But you'd love to see that number bigger. And it's still cooking. Just kind of wait until this bad boy... Uh, tells me it's done. Now, does my cooking actually level up as this is happening? 115? I don't know about that. Now, I could just speed this up, of course, I guess, instead of just standing here. Okay, it's burning. Um... Grab it. Turn it off. And eat um, a quarter of it. See how much, like, what does that do to you if you just eat it boiling like that? All right, you're good. And then we're going to go over to the fridge and just put this into the refrigerator. All right, let me check myself out. Let me look at my weight. It's going up. Okay. Good. I could probably eat some more of this, you know. Um, eat another quarter, I guess. I want to see, like, the full... The Moodle that says, like, I ate enough, I'm full. I still don't see it. There we go. There's barely anything left now, but um, I'm in much better shape. All right, cool. Let's go. It is uh, getting late, but let's just... I want to test out what it would take to repair the taxi on the hood. I can, of course, just cook at my barbecue, I suppose, instead of, like, you know... Um, using my stove if I want to save my power. That's not a bad idea. Just looking around. Looks like pretty much everything is dead. Alright. So if I go over here, I think I need like iron plates and maybe a blowtorch or something. But let's just see what it takes. Alright, the hood. So to repair this... We need screws and metal sheets, or um, I could use a propane torch, but I don't have any metal working. So, screws, metal sheets, or I could level up metal working is kind of where it's at. So, I, metal sheets are usually pretty easy to get, but screws, see, I, have, I don't know if I've rightly seen that. Here's metal sheet right there. I mean, like, that's how easy that is, right? I'll just put it in my bag. And I'll put it in the trunk of the car just to use it in the future. But, um, you know, here's metal bars. The propane torch. But I'd have to raise metalworking, which uh, my character's metalworking is uh, 
a zero. Maybe if I had a DVD on that, that would also work. So let's look at crafting. Um, can you, you can open a box of screws, but you can't just like, yeah, that make, you can't machine screws. That makes sense, I suppose. Um, now I was told that the, uh, the radius for your generator can sometimes be pretty wide. So like you can actually be powering homes that you don't think you are. Um, and let me see this. No, okay. I hope not. See the door hinge. Can I just take some screws out of that? You know what I mean? All right, anyway. Uh, let's see. Yeah, disassemble the door. See if we can get some planks. We didn't. Disassemble the door. And boy, that was not having good luck there. All right, we're going to need our torch. All right, and hammer. I broke the table, and we finally got a plank. Tremendous. All right. It's going to open the door. I'm going to look in my trunk here. All right, I got the trauma bag. Okay, so what I'm going to put in... Oh, this is another thing I want to do. This double barrel shotgun... Um, we're going to cut it down. So I'm going to put the gas can in here for just finding gas when we're out on the go. And I'm going to go in here and the metal plate, you can go in here. All right. So I'll take this because I believe that somebody was telling me that if I, I can use my holster that I got um, and put the shotgun in the holster... To help with encumbrance. So I'm going to try to use my saw. And cut down this shotgun. And then uh, we will. See if we have enough to make a rain barrel. We have a good amount of planks. I mean. Let me check the generator. 76. That's actually good. I mean, it's the gas is lasting. We'd need way more gasoline than this to make it happen, but it's not bad. I'm going to take a plank and just kind of drop it out here. Um, to create a rain barrel... Um, I think you actually have to have all this stuff on you. No, no, here it is. Uh, four planks and four garbage bags. So there's one plank. And here's two more planks. That's three. Yeah, I just need uh, one more plank and the garbage bags from downstairs. Cool. I know I have a saw downstairs for the shotgun. I'm going to look for screws as well. It's not impossible. Okay, um, I want, uh, do, 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 yeah, sort this by category, tool, I actually don't have a saw in here, how about that, there it is, now I'm going to put this in my bag, and I'm just going to say, saw off, double barrel shotgun so now it's sawed off and I can equip um, can I 
attach... I can attach it to my back, but not to my holster. Maybe it's because um, it, it needs to be a single barrel shotgun to fit in the holster. But still, even if I can't put it on the holster, it's not the end of the world. It's still pretty sweet. Alright. And at this point, I think we just want to rest... I've already read the metalworking book. I didn't see any kind of metalworking. I mean, satin and silk probably, you know, raises your tailoring. If, but I think I already have watched it. Let me make sure about that. Oh, no, this is not tailoring. This is like boredom. Okay. That's fine. It's just pure entertainment. I was like, okay, satin and silk. These are fabrics. This will raise my tail. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. All right, we're going to go ahead and sleep. Amazing. Up at 7 a.m. An actually reasonable time to be awake. All right. Uh, hand torch. Whoops. Should have turned that off. That's a classic. That's a classic mistake. Batteries nearly out on that. Disaster. All right. Oh, that's right. That one doesn't work. Okay. So the good news is... You know what? Sorry. I was going to leave, but I'm not ready. I'm going to turn off my generator. I'm going to leave the house for a bit. There's no reason for it to be on at the moment. What VHS was that? Woodcraft? No, no, I already saw that, yeah. We're looking for several things. The hardware store is still a place we want to go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it off. Doesn't need to be on right now. I should put a way out there as well at some point. I do have this water as an emergency, I guess. You know, if I ever wanted to. Now, I'm going to unload a bunch of stuff because I'm going to go out and look for some things. So I'm going to put things in the trunk of my taxi. Because I figure it's voluminous. It is. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put the... Uh, I'll carry the, the shotgun. That's fine, just as a joke. But in here, we're going to go ahead and take... Uh, actually, just go ahead and... Uh, do it by encumbrance. Yeah, jack, wrench, lug wrench, nails, like this stuff, just put it in this trunk. Um, place half in here. Oh god, that didn't do it. Uh place half. No, that doesn't do it. Uh I want to like just put two of these in here.
I don't know how to quite do that. Like if I says place, like place half, press R to rotate the eye. Oh no, that's like placing it in the environment. Yeah, no, I, I just want to put it like, that seems to put them all, which I don't want to do. Here we go, grab half. So I'll put them in there and then um, put in container trunk. And then grab one. That's fine. Okay, that's a little bit better. So now my overall encumbrance is fine. Um, I don't need a shotgun. I want to take it. But I'm just going to go with my machete. Okay. And we're looking for screws. Magazines. Seeds. The basics. So let's check out the map. The tool shop is here and we're here. I could just make a run for it. I don't know how reasonable that is. I'm not even sure how many I left behind at this point. But I'm going to go for it. I'm also looking for uh, other vehicles. There's There are some things I'm looking for. All right. These guys might come at me. I'm just checking mailboxes. Make sure there's nothing I missed. You know... OJ's Bronco, get in there. The lock is broken. Um, see, here was a wrench just sitting here for me. So, you know. Can't get in? All right. Can't you smash the window? Usually you can. Oh, here, you got to go vehicle mechanics. That's right. Yeah, vehicle mechanics. That's what this is. I'm just trying to smash a window. Um, this car's in great shape. Maybe because I don't have a crowbar, I can't actually smash it. I, that could be the case. Anyway, fine. Ooh, those zombies are coming. They're coming fast for me. Here comes some more. Ooh, look at this red Jeep over here. I never really noticed that. Right, I'm going to check in this mailbox. Zero. Zero. I can't get in. There's a zombie just in here. That's awesome. Alright, come on through. Alright, that's... A oh, oh, there's lots of zombies in here. Okay, fine. I was looking for a nice, quiet place to search, but... Looks like we got a bunch of fun people here. Hi. That was a lot of zombies. Oh, it's you two. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay. Can... Let's just have a little break. Ooh, the key. Now, that's probably just to the house. But, I mean, I'll put it on my keychain. It is. I think it's. it says something different if it's a car key, but I'd love it if it was the cool key that I needed. All right. Let's just check. Yeah. Eat all the cheese. I mean, that makes sense. 
you find something good like that to eat, you just jam on it. What else we got? Canned food, beef jerky, marinara, pasta. Okay. Let's see what you got bookshelf wise. Oh, look how many zombies are at the door. That's incredible. All right, what's in here? Um, scrap metal. Box of screws. Holy cannoli. We just hit the slot machine and a plank. I don't really want to carry a plank, but, you know, it's not the worst idea. There's a box of nails, too, but we I feel like we have plenty of nails. What's in this box? More planks. They're going to get through that. They've already gotten through it. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, the slider door is going to kill me. It nearly did. Hi. Purple's a good color. You're wearing it on all... Look at these two cars. Well, we could find something here. Look at that pile of garbage. Clean up your act. All right. Twine, rubber band, tote bag. What you got in here? This is the uh, Battle of the Colliding Station Wagons. It happens. All right, so we got the screws, so we could fix up our taxi, which by itself is, like, just basically good enough. And she, like, kept hitting the wall. Okay. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of you in here. All right. Well. Is what's in this house worth it? Probably not. Oh, boy. Here, run, run. Run, 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 run. I made a mistake of trying to look around right when that guy came through. No, no, no. Get out of here. Okay. Well, we got lucky. We did not get bit right there. Our, I think our armor, like, really protected us. Um, look at this guy. What a jerk. All right. All right, let's see what you got in here. Anything? Sheet of paper. Well, oh, okay. We got a zombie. The home office. Hi. Okay. Uh, what you got? Pen. Fill your water bottle. Do it. Don't be ashamed. We still need water. What's in here? A sort... Uh, an electric guitar. Yeah. Light bulb, screwdriver. Oh, wait, wait. There's two racks here. Empty. What a big closet. You're wasting it. All right. Okay. Hi. This is an interesting way for us to just annihilate, like, tons of zombies. Magazine. Okay. All right. Well, looks like we're just about done here. The rubber duck. Nope. Can't say no to adhesive bandages. Okay. All right, and we did check this bookshelf, right? Yeah, garbage. Okay. But we got screws. So that's that's a good first step. The house is open. Zombies. Okay. Somebody had a pistol. Some popcorn. 
rotten steak. Oh, what's this bookshelf? Darn. We need DVDs, people. We're looking for high-level educational entertainment. Sleeping tablets, not bad. Alright, we'll take the tabs, just in case. Anything in here? Bah. Uh, okay. They got a hammer in the toolbox. Sure. Sure you do. Alright, little teeny house. I see zombies. I get it. We don't really need to mess with them. I'm... Trying to sneak over. Look at this parking lot. We're in a commercial area. Not really looking to fight a bunch. There's a beautiful green car. We're actually kind of close to... Uh, oh, this looks like the school. Maybe I... I don't know if I've been in here. Yeah. I don't know, like, what that would be super valuable that we could find in here. Maybe there's some good stuff. Maybe they have a library, you know. Knocked off his hat. Bottles, garbage bags. I mean... Am I at the point where it's just like I just take every garbage bag that I can find? I probably am. Oh, did you come through the window for me? Thank you. I was like, how am I going to get in there? Boy, this person really wants to fight. That Nox virus will really work you up, won't it? Uh, you have a stake in the heart. Somebody thought you were a vampire, and it didn't work. They, they tried to fight you. Uh, remove the broken glass. Alright. We're in the cafeteria. And there's a few... There's a zombie back there, you know. If we really want to fight. Not thrilled about it. There's some... Rotten chicken nuggets. Shocker. Alright. Any of these lockers open? Yeah, actually, quite a few of them are. Comic book, hoodie, school backpack. I mean, that's like the extent of a lot of the stuff that you can get here. Uh, but this is a... This looks like a little library. So let's see what they got. Oh my god. Okay. Metalworking Magazine, Volume 1. We need that. Uh, the Herbalist. Get that. Electronics Magazine. Uh, unread. Alright, we'll take it. I mean... We know what we're looking for. Auto Manual. Um... Lane's Auto Manual teaches intermediate mechanics. All right, well, we need basic mechanics, but that's got to be good. Uh, here, I'm going to go ahead and get my flashlight out. I know that my flashlight's in, like, terrible shape. But let's just use it till it runs out. Metalworking Magazine, Volume 1 herbalist again I don't know. I'll take them all I, I don't know if any of this is like hunter magazine unread um metalworking magazine volume three okay getting a lot of reading material which is fine here let's just kind of look through everything that we can see here make sure I don't leave 
farming magazine. Mildew Cure. I actually think I have this. I remember that Mildew Cure, like, thinking I had found something good and then being like, oh, well, I guess. Metalwork Magazine. Yep, we got that one. Hunter Magazine Volume 2. That's new. I need, like, the basic, um, auto mechanics. Just, uh, engineer. All right, fine. Make timer, add timer. All right. Basic mechanics. This is it. I think we just got them both right there. So now I think we have basic and intermediate mechanics for fixing up our cars. All found courtesy the school library. We also have a box of screws. Uh, so, you know, we're getting underway there. If they have audio visual, I don't see any. So it's like I don't see DVDs or anything like that, which would be just, you know, insane. Well, I have to say that's fantastic. I mean, regardless of what happens at this point, you know what I mean? Like, we, even if the rest of this school is a complete bust, we've got so much good stuff. We've got screws. We've got the magazines we were looking for. We got a bunch of trash bags. Um, so this is looking like a terrific little foray out into the wilderness. And I'm pumped about it. So uh, we got our mechanics up to level two by watching the DVD. We hooked up our generator, moved it to the roof. It's working. We cooked up a, a stew. Uh, we are now exploring a little bit further out. We avoided near death yet again. And are rocking and rolling. Everyone, this is a good place to stop the episode. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you're still finding this to be useful and fun. And thank you so much, everyone, for providing advice and tips so that I can learn and try to demonstrate the knowledge in a way that, you know, other people might be able to find this to be useful so that we can all get into and enjoy this game. Because, I mean, every single time I learn something new and it surprises me, like how much this game has in it. And I'm excited to see more. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care.